Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to discuss the concept of market for lemons. Moving to the introduction, what we could see is that in a market, we do have to consider the two sides, the side of the people who would be demanding the product and the side of the people who would be supplying the product. And here in the in between these two things we do have some important aspect which is called information and whenever we say information we consider the role of information related to the quality of the product there are certain information that would be known to the seller which the seller would be hiding from the buyer and that would result in what is called information asymmetry information asymmetry and this is the imbalance of information between the buyer and the seller one of the parties would be processing more information than the other party this can be considered the problem of information asymmetry and the resultant market for lemons can be considered by using an example of a market where we consider used cars so we are discussing a market for used cars and here we could see that there are 100 people who would like to sell the car so 100 sellers are there and also we are considering a situation there would be 100 buyers 100 prospective buyers to buy the car and all the people whether it is buyer or seller irrespective of this could understand that out of the 100 cars that is there in the market, 50 cars are plums. Plums means good quality cars. And the remaining 50 is called lemon. And lemon means bad quality cars. This is a scenario. That means you, we do have 100 cars in the market and out of which 50 would be good quality cars which we can call as plum and 50 the remaining 50 would be bad quality car which we could call in the name of lemon. In this scenario we could see that the actual seller of the car he exactly and very perfectly and completely knows the quality of the car and he could distinguish whether his car is a plum or a lemon. He actually knows whether his car is a plum or a lemon whether the car that is going to sell to somebody is a plum or a lemon this this is very much clearly known to the seller but what about the buyer the buyer who is going to buy the car do not know whether any given car is a plum or a lemon this is the situation if that is the case we need to consider the case with lemon and plum in the case of lemon the owner would be selling the car at a price coming to the seller's price the seller would be selling the car and he would be selling the car only if he gets some amount which is at least 50,000 and in the case of plum the seller would be selling the car only if he gets rupees 1 lakh so if if he is getting any amount which is 99,000, he will not sell the car. He will be selling the car, plum, he will be selling his plum car only if he gets rupees 1 lakh. And what about the case of the buyer? The buyer will be willing to pay rupees 60,000 for a lemon. And the buyer will be willing to pay rupees 1,20,000 for a plum. Okay. Now, we could see that since the seller's price for lemon is 50,000 and, uh, and the buyer's price for lemon is 60,000, trading or transaction regarding lemon will happen at a price between 50,000 and 60,000 again in the case of plum since the seller's price is 1 lakh 
and by its price is 120000 transaction of plum card will be happening at a price which is between 1 lakh and 1 lakh 20000 we could see that the buyers do not have any way to understand the real quality of the car for the very same reason what they could do is a guesswork this is the only possibility here and the car that the person is buying here has got an equally likely chance to be a plum or a lemon so this person would be guessing regarding the quality of the car and he goes for a simplistic assumption about the guess and uh, he would be going for the value of the car the valuation of the car and how he makes this valuation depends upon expected value okay so in order to find the expected value we have to have two things first of all we need to have probability and then we have to have the outcome i told you that for both being a plum and lemon or uh, uh, the car that you choose has got an equally likely chance to be a plum or a lemon and for the very same reason the pro possibility to choose a plum or probability of choosing a plum is 1 by 2 and the probability of choosing a lemon is also 1 by 2 and what is the price that the uh, buyer was willing to pay for a lemon it was dollar it was 60,000 rupees 60,000 and in the case of plum he was willing to pay something like 1 lakh 20,000 isn't it and with these we are going to calculate the expected value the expected value is equal to pro probability of purchasing a lemon multiplied by the buyer's price for lemon which is 60,000 plus probability of getting a plum multiplied by the buyer's price for plum and this will give you a value 90,000 rupees. We could see that only owner of lemon would be selling his car for 90,000 rupees because for him he would be uh, he would be selling lemon for rupees uh, 50,000 and this was the price at least 50,000 that uh, at least 50,000 he should get then only this person would sell what is called a lemon but in the case of plum he will be selling the uh, car only if he gets something called 1 lakh but now 90,000 is more than 50,000 and this is less than 1 lakh isn't it and for the very same reason the owner of plum will not be willing to sell his car at a price which is 90,000. At the price of 90,000 owners of lemon will be selling the car and in this case we could see that the buyer is not informed regarding the quality of the car but if the buyer was certain that only owners of lemon would be selling their cars he would not be willing to pay this much of rupees for the card and we could see that in this situation the market for lemon uh, in this situation the equilibrium price is something that would be happening between 50,000 and 60,000 why because this is the seller's price and this is the buyer's price isn't it now we are dealing with the situation of asymmetric information asymmetric information means imbalance of information imbalance of information the seller in this case is more informed regarding the quality of the car whereas the buyer is least informed and none of the plums could get sold although rupees 1 lakh 20 thousand is specified and the buyers are willing to pay what the buyers are willing to pay for plum here exceeds the price uh, that is set by the seller even though this is the case for even though 
for plums we could see that the buyer's price is more than seller's price none of the plum could get out of the market why this is again due to the asymmetric information and the resultant market failure market failure the market fails to capture all the information and reflect in the, it in terms of price and for the very same reason this is a problematic situation when it comes to the second hand cars or used cars market that is all regarding the market for lemons hope you could understand i request you to like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos you can join our free telegram community for doubt discussions i'll be providing the link of this in the description box also you can download the learn economy app for that also i'll be providing the link in the description box that's it thank you for watching